In the previous lessons, we looked at what's needed for chip carving, how to apply a pattern, and how to sharpen your knife. Now it's time to look at chip carving technique. You may want to watch this lesson several times because proper technique is so crucial. You came here to learn how to chip carve. So let's get started. Proper technique is crucial when it comes to chip carving. In this lesson, I'll show you how to use your cutting knife. I'll be using the My Chip Carving Cutting Knife. Lay your knife across your fingertips and gently curl your fingers around the handle. Next, lock the joint of your thumb against the handle. The My Chip Carving Cutting Knife comes with a thumb notch on the handle, making it very easy to know right where to register your thumb. Place the tip of your thumb and your knuckles on the wood. Your thumb, knuckles, and the tip of the blade form a stable base. The angle of your knife should be in the 55 to 65 degree range. A consistent angle, time and time again, is the key. Take a look at these three chips. Each are carved at a different angle. The top one, at 30 degrees, is very shallow. It almost fades into the background and you hardly notice that it's been carved. The bottom chip has been carved at some very steep angles, 75 to 80 degrees. The shadow is really dark, but it also is very difficult to remove a chip when the angles are that steep. And then there's the middle chip carved around 60 degrees. It's a very pleasant shadow and the chip is easy to remove and it yields a nice finished product. And that's why it's recommended for you to hold your knife in the 55 to 65 degree range. And here's what chip carving looks like when using proper technique. In short order, every time you pick up your knife, the angle of the blade will register in the same position. Practicing proper technique will help you develop consistent, uniform cuts. There will be times when you're chip carving when you'll need to angle the cut in the opposite direction. To do this, roll the knife over in your hand and place the joint of your thumb on the side of the handle. The joint of your index finger will fit into the notch on the other side of the handle. With your thumb and knuckle still in contact the, with the wood, you'll still be able to generate a consistent 55 to 65 degree angle. This is what it looks like making cuts with the knife rolled over in your hand using proper technique. You'll notice that when holding the knife in both positions, my thumb and knuckles always remain in contact with the surface of the wood. Holding your knife properly is so important that I'll remind you about it regularly as you continue on in these lessons. Eventually you'll know exactly when you're holding your knife correctly. Your hand will build up muscle memory. Give yourself some time You'll get the feel for it, and pretty soon your chips will even be coming out just like these. <laughs> 